There's no better time to learn a new attack or refresh your skills on an old one than when the pressure is off. Welcome fellow Clashers and thank you so much for spending a few minutes of your day with myself and Clash of Clans attacks and yes, headed back to Lava Loon. I figure now that I'm no longer pushing trophies at the moment anyway, back down in the Champions League area rather than Titans, it's time to give some other attacks a try, specifically going back to air attacks and see how I do with my old skills. Now this is the way I used to do it. It may be slightly different now. I've seen a lot of people using two or three hounds. But I brought four and uh, the giant, I don't know how that got my clan castle, but we bring in the four lava hounds, drop them in first. I've got three rage, two freeze, sending in all of the balloons right afterwards, saving just a few minions, the just in case minions, trying to spread out those rage spells. And right there, you can see the camp in between the rage spells, so I knew that those balloons would path directly in over those next set of defenses. And so the third and final rage spell goes down. I put both freeze spells down, trying to get as many structures as I can out of the way from around that town hall and you can see the town hall almost destroyed simply from the splash damage of the balloons and now the minions the lava pups go into work behind the balloons the last of the balloons working on that archer tower skeleton trap looks like it'll take them down but I've already got the one star for 50% haven't even needed to use my heroes and that town hall just about ready to fall it's just going to be a matter of getting in there with the heroes and trying to hit it just a couple times to get it out of the way now I did bring a few minions archers wall breakers just to try to speed the entry into the village so the wall breakers go down and it looks like almost a straight path I'm going to use my king first and try to get some of these structures out of the way and hope that the queen will path straight to that town hall. Now the last of the uh, clan castle troops are coming out, no poison spell left, but we will take care of them with the units that we have. We no longer have to sweat the first star for 50%, so it's pretty easy from here. I go ahead and drop the rest of the minions, getting rid of those barbarians. And once that last barbarian is out of the way, here comes my king, and of course he's gonna head straight towards that elixir storage. And this is one of those instances where it is fortunate to have higher level heroes because he should last long enough to clear enough structures out of that second compartment that the town hall will be the first or maybe second structure the queen goes after. Here she comes, the uh, throne is down as well and sure enough right to the town hall and it's just going to take her a couple of shots and that town hall is going to fall for the second star and so a little bit of a softer target obviously the defending heroes not that high level but it was nice to see I was able to get in there and way beyond 50% past 75% actually before the queen finally goes down and that is going to wrap up a two star attack getting back to Lava Lunion. So moving right along to my next attack, slightly higher level heroes, but a single target Inferno. I go right at one of the air sweepers, but I figured the freeze spell should work out well, trying to ideally get the Expo, Air Sweeper, and Inferno Tower all in one shot. So the first freeze spell goes down and I just nail it. Very happy with where that freeze spell lands. The balloons, almost all of them using the rage spells. Third rage spell down and that freeze spell lasts almost all the way until the Inferno Tower and the Air Sweeper are down. The second freeze spell, a little bit late, but it works out, and now you can see 35% damage, not quite as high as we were before, but we've cleared a pretty clear path towards the Town Hall, and it looks like another Expo has gone down. Hopefully we'll try to get the Queen out of the way. That single target Inferno, not a, as big of a deal against the Balloons as it will be against the Heroes. 46% damage though, so things, again, looking pretty good. Always a big relief when you can grab 50% or just about 50% before you use your heroes. So the last two storages go down and that grabs me 48. So I'm feeling pretty good about myself. Gonna go ahead and try to probe some of these walls with the barbarians. I've got a barbarian, archer, wall breakers, minions remaining. And so we're gonna work very slowly, gonna try to be patient. And that's the beauty of this attack in the second phase and that is there's no rush. You usually have plenty of time to get the attack done so it's a matter of calculating watching where the units are pathing and predicting where your heroes will path trying to get the uh, other heroes out of the way any bombs traps triggered as well I still have the poison spell the king is lured out so the minions should be able to work on him a bit 
and there is a skeleton trap so things are looking good the path to the town hall just about wide open and that level 25 king just about to go down as well so he does path in and the single target inferno is going to get to those minions but it shouldn't really slow me down too much obviously still have both heroes so the king comes in first the skeleton's not an issue gonna go ahead and drop a couple archers along with him and here he comes through the opening of walls and again you can tell there's really nowhere else for the queen to go when she drops in she's gonna go straight for that town hall enclosure now I didn't hit the king's ability in time and he gets nailed by that single target inferno but it should be safe we should be okay the queen through the clan castle there goes the town hall 50 percent and there is the second star so a big relief we finally get the heroes in there the queen is going to fall but not before we've grabbed two stars we'll go ahead and let the attack run out 55 percent damage and not bad for my second attack back at lava lunion getting a little more confidence maybe not ready to hit a super max yet but three trophies for that two star felt pretty good now next I wanted to take a look at another Lost Phoenix member. This is Dirk Diggler from Lost Phoenix going with the old reverse order Lava Lunion attack. Yes, he's got maxed out heroes, but he's chosen to drop them first. And obviously he wants to get an air defense out of the way, much like hybrid attacks at Town Hall 9 and 10. The idea being to lure out that clan castle, which in this case was empty, get an air defense down, get the Archer Queen down, and any other structures in the area that can help make the air phase a little bit easier. And it looks like that's going to be four Lava Hounds, three Rage, two Free, so just like you saw me bringing, but the heroes came first. And it's actually surprising how big of an advantage this has given to Dirk Diggler of Lost Phoenix as the air phase begins from the right hand side going right at that air sweeper and you wouldn't think just the Archer Queen and air defense and the clan castle troops make that much of a difference all the expo still up air sweepers inferno towers but as everybody moves in Dirk using some great well timed and well placed rage and free spells and raging just about every balloon you can see them working their way in towards the core now there is the last free spell the single target inferno not really an issue obviously the priority free using the multi-targeting Inferno and just a couple of last minute balloons moving them in from the left after those structures were already distracted after the other units in the area 64% damage the town hall is going to fall to the lava pups 65% and lots of balloons are still up and there's only a couple of defensive structures remaining in fact the wizard tower is going to be the last to fall and when it does there are plenty of balloons still on the battlefield and that means an easy three-star victory for Dirk Diggler with a very unusual heroes leading the way lava lunion attack so perhaps an option for those air attackers definitely something I haven't seen much of in the past let me know what you guys think I will continue to practice my air attacks and just try to get better as we will eventually move back up and resume the quest to 5,000 but thank you once again as always for watching all the way to the end of this episode please do check out my other episodes don't forget to like comment subscribe and let me know in the comments what you guys want to see out of future videos I will return tomorrow with more full attacks Galidon, that Nordic clash, quite the event, eh?